Hey guys, Elon Extreme, back at it with another video, guys. How you guys doing today? We're checking out some uh, a Yami rap by the boy Digs the Prophecy, dude. This man is awesome. I've known this dude for since 600 subs at this point, man. Like I've known him since like a while ago when I didn't even have a hundred subs. I knew this guy, man. He was awesome. I love what he's doing. I love that um, you know he's been included in so many ciphers recently. I love that he's getting the appreciation he de uh, deserves. And I love that he's making really fire raps. And this one I've heard is crazy good, uh, the Yami rap. And I love Black Clover, by the way. How many of you like Black Clover? Because I love Black Clover. Like, it's one of my uh, favorite newer anime, actually. Be just because, like, even though Asta's annoying, you know, there's some aspects that, like, you know, get off and go in, and there's, you know, of course there's always, like, a good side and bad side to an anime, but or, or anything in general, but I'm saying that, like, I think they did a very good job on making another shonen that's a long shonen that doesn't completely copy every single other one. They have a unique story. They have a new, unique thing. So I love that. And Yami is one of my favorite characters in the Black Clover, just because Yami is just like this cool badass who comes in and actually cares for his people. He knows what it's like to be discriminated against. So I love him as a character, and I love that he can sympathize with people who are rejects. And I love that so much. Let's go check it out and jump into the Black Bulls in three, two, one. Let's go, dudes. Let's do it. Ooh, okay. I, li I like the music. I like that. Like already, I could tell, dude. Very Black Clover. I don't care about the fame, but stuff about the change. Intimidation be the medicine, the stuff inside your brain. Okay. I'm known to be so reckless, though my function is insane. Okay. It's a typical surprise, they still fuck with me the same. I'm an outcast, ain't got no problems, I resolve them cause I outlast. Yeah. You must be crazy if you play me, but I doubt that. All right, I like that already. So he's talking about that he's an outcast, like I was talking about before, uh, and he's talking about basically that even though he was an outcast, he outlasts everybody and really proves himself as a fighter as part of the Clover Kingdom. I love that he proves himself and even and no, like I said, he knows what it's like to be rejected. So I like that he that digs the prophet is saying, hey. You know, I outlast, I take you guys out, I prove myself worthy, and even though people have got on me in my whole life, I'm still here kicking, alright? So that's awesome. Continue. And this is nothing got you running, let's see how fast the time is now past. Okay. Okay. Alright, talking about, you know, he's the leader of the Black Bulls, and he's saying that, believe me, I'm a madman. He's stacked. He's strong, but he's also not an idiot, right? Like, he knows how to plan out a strategy and think things through. He kind of reminds me of Kampachi in that manner. Believe me, I'm a madman because I pack range hey. from the pulpit. I'm on the cool list. Oh. Okay. Yo, back up on my bull. He always backs up what he's doing. And I also like that they're talking about uh real quick here, this line real quick. Uh if we can go back to the line. Not sorry he's rude. He doesn't care about breaking the rules, right? He doesn't care about breaking the rules. Like that's what I like about him is that he's flexible, right? He doesn't he doesn't care if he breaks the rules. He just wants to do what's best for his freaking team. That's it. That's awesome. I love I, I like that he did mention that. That is a good point. You really made a dig reference, Digs the Prophecy. You made a dig reference. <laughs> All right, you know, I, I can deal with that. That's pretty chill. Always had respect, so for her, I keep my arms wide. But you was really nothing. I could beat you with my arms tied. Ooh, okay, all right. So keep the great and no debating. I'm a fucking great. Yes, 
so abrasive, no persuading. I just love to hate. I got no patience, skip the waiting. I'm a rush the day. You only got that exclamation, cause the punch you way. Yeah, cowards always choose to hide with mana or no mana. Makes no difference. I'll let you decide. Question, I'm not guessing. I can tell you that the crew will ride. Whip me into battle, no mistake. You getting crucified. Well, Alright. Yeah, cause you thinking this a game, though. Yes, I, I like how he's talking about being crucified when they're talking about demons in the most re recent arc. I like that that throughout the entire series they mentioned demons. I like that. That was clever. Yeah, my hero even got it in my name. Hey, you lame, bro. And I can do this shit with ease. Look, all I do is win. Man, you know this a breeze. I'm known to act a fool. Yeah, yeah, I keep it cool. It's whatever fuck the rules. Yeah, yeah, that's what I do. And I'm not sorry if I'm rude. Yeah, yeah, but no. I do. Low key clever, looking better. And I'm back, back up on my ball. Hey, man. I'm known to act a fool. Yeah, yeah, I keep it cool. It's whatever fuck the rules. Yeah, yeah, that's what I do. I'm not sorry if I'm rude. Yeah, yeah, but I'm that dude. Low key clever, looking better. And I'm back up on my ball. All right, there. That was that was good, man. That was really good. Let's go towards the end again. Uh, so I think Dix of Prophecy actually did a pretty dang good job here. Um, a lot better than I thought. I mean, I know Dix of is amazing. Uh, he's so good, but here, I mean, he is really good. I will say that um, the thing with Dix of Prophecy is that like he kind of like like I said, I'm a guy who likes more death. That's just me, right? And he did get some nice subtle bars that you would understand, but at the same time, I feel like he could have went a little bit more in depth. I do like uh, the chorus, though. The chorus was very nice. The rapping itself was really, really good. Like, he stayed on beat. He stayed on flow. It was very nice and very good. I also... But the thing is, like, he even mentions in the song that Yami's not just his his brawn. He's not just his brawn, his, you know, and everything. Yet, he kind of didn't really touch on more of the stuff that makes him, you know, unique as a character. Like, he, he doesn't talk about, like, oh, uh, what, what he uses brains for, or, like, what... What does he do to help his uh, family? What does the family mean to him? You know, what I mean, I think this was more like a flex rap anyway, like like to flex how strong Yami was. But like, I see a lot of artists who do a flex rap or do something like, "Oh, I'm the best," but then they don't really capture the character. You know, what I mean, I'm not saying Diggs did it. Diggs did. But I'm saying that, like, he could have done a little better in expressing that. I, a little bit more into, like, the Black Bulls in general, maybe a little bit. Like, saying how Yami uh, goes to them. How he feels with, you know, his, uh, the uh, number one Wizard King, you know, Kronos, right? Like, like what? how does he feel with a lot of these characters? Like, what? What? Do, how does he interact? Because he interacts with these characters very interestingly. He's not just the big Chad. It's like talking about, like, uh, Alex Louise Armstrong from freaking a Full Metal Alchemist, and all that is to him is muscles. Like, it's, it's just not how that works, you know? So... I think that Days of Prophecy did a really good job. I love as a song the like I said the flow, the chorus was very good, the freaking audio cues I heard a few of those those are good. Uh, I like the references. Some of the references he made were very very good. Uh, some of them were okay. Like okay, you, you it was kind of like almost like filler. You know, like, it was almost like okay, you know I, I he I'll crucify you. You know that's that that was a clever line. But like he would say like I'm taking you out, taking you down. Like yeah yeah you know it's it's the same stuff you see in a lot of like you know raps to hype up a character and i feel like he could have done for yami a little bit more unique that's all i gotta say about that nothing gets digs the prophecy at all i think he's absolutely incredible and i'm one of the guys who are saying hey this man's underrated because he is and i this is a banger by the way and i will put this on my playlist because i'm a big anime guy so it's just i'm very uh critical with that you know what i'm saying but i think he did an incredible job please go check out digs the prophecy and all of his stuff in the link description below his youtube channel and the uh, link to original video will be in the description below don't worry guys i got you covered i know that you were hyped for me to check this out i think you did a very good job thank you so much for uh if you do see this video i got i got you man i knew i told you i'd get this out today hey guys i hope you guys have a great day guys stay safe out there have a great day guys and goodbye guys see ya in the next one